Hello YouTube. Okay, well we're going to take a look at another pencil today. And today's pencil is going to be the Kitabashi 9606 HB pencil. So let's check it out. well let's take a close look at this pencil well we can see that it has kind of a brownish gloss paint job to it the lettering is a gold leaf type lettering on one side and on the other side it is using the silver foil leaf you notice it says academic writing and this is generally what this pencil was designed for, academic writing. And I looked up academic writing, and I realized to explain academic writing, I would need to take a complete academic course of academic writing just to explain what academic writing is, and then most people wouldn't understand a word I was saying because it was just too academic. I don't know. So I encourage you to take a look in Google for academic writing and see if you can make sense of what it means. Sounds pretty technical, because it probably is. Anyway, the ferrule, as you can see, is kind of like the standard silverish kind of ferrule. It has a marshmallow white eraser on here. And looking at the tip, we see that it has kind of a standard size graphite core and it's centered within what appears to be cedar wood. All right. So I guess the next thing to do with this pencil is to see how it writes. And so I'm going to go about sharpening this pencil. So what I've decided to do is to sharpen this pencil using my Coom Masterpiece Pencil Sharpener. And we'll just pull out so that you can see better. So to start off with, I'm going to start sharpening on the number one hole. It shows here. And the reason I'm going to use this manual pencil sharpener is so we can just kind of take a close look at that cedar wood and get an idea of how easy it is or how not easy it is it is to sharpen this particular pencil. Now it sharpens easy enough it has some resistance which just means that uh, it's typical cedar. And we're coming to the end here of the number one sharpening point. Okay, and that is done. We'll just take a real close up look here at the wood. Shaving itself, you can see. It's a good quality wood. It's not particle, it's a solid piece all the way through. Two slats, of course, you have this. Two slats are glued together over the core. So I like seeing that, so that's good quality. And then we'll take a close look at the actual semi-sharpened pencil. And it hasn't split on me here. It doesn't look like it, no. You can see there's the glue line. That'd be right there. There'd be one on each side. Because it takes two slats that they put together with the core in the middle. Now, of course, we're not done sharpening this pencil yet. But I wanted to see if it was nicely centered and as you can see it is nicely centered because when the core is not centered you'll have more wood on one side than you would on the other. Now we will go to the second part here of this sharpener to give this a point because right now the end is blunt and so I'll just 
real carefully without too much force. Don't want to snap my tip. But I like a nice sharp point. Okay, there we go. I think that's probably as sharp as I'm going to want to get this. I don't want to snap it again. There we go. All right. So we'll go with that. That's a good point. I guess the next thing to do is to do a little writing with this. See how it feels. Won't be actually doing academic writing since I don't really know what that is. Okay, so this is the Kitabashi. Oh, that's nice. Bashi 96. 06. This is an HB pencil. It's listed for general use. And it says academic writing. Okay, again, it's HB. All right, folks. I'm going to give you my overall impression of uh, how this pencil feels. This pencil feels very soft. It is also quite dark for an HB pencil. And I'm going to have to say that this is probably going to be one of my favorite pencils. This is a very nice soft writing HB pencil. For general use. Wow. Let's check out this eraser here and see how well it takes off this dark HB here. It's as it's about as standard as an eraser as you're gonna get, nothing special. And you're gonna have some ghosting because it is a very dark HB pencil. So because it's so dark we're going to take a look and see what it really is equivalent to based on the Mitsubishi Hayuni uh, drawing set pencils and see where this would fall. And I'm pretty sure it is going to come out much darker than an HB drawing pencil. So let's check that out next. Okay, so I have me some drawing paper here. This is 90 pound drawing paper and this is the smooth side right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Kitabashi 9606 pencil and I'm going to uh, draw right in the center here a nice swath that we're going to use for comparison purposes. Now this goes on really nice and soft. And I find this as a writing pencil that it is really enjoyable to write with and I'd have to say that uh, as far as the quality of the graphite uh, it has to be pretty comparable to black wing graphite it is just smooth and it does not surprise me uh, this pencil comes from Japan I've been very impressed with graphite pencils from Japan you know the Tombos, the Mitsubishi Hyunis. They're they're all just top flight. Now Kitabashi is a small little company, pencil company in Japan, and so no doubt has access to the same resources as those other pencil companies out there. Who knows? Maybe they work with each other. But the graphite is really, really nice, high quality, feels great, and I'm going to see about getting more than just one pencil, because all I have is one pencil. But this is definitely one that I'm going to enjoy using um, just for every day, taking notes, doing journal logs, studying, whatever the case may be. As usual, I'm holding the pencil in the back so that uh, I don't apply too much pressure onto the paper. Just let it do its thing. 
and I'm filling in the white of the paper as much as I can until I feel that it's not doing anything else. It's about as saturated as all get out. Okay, there we go. So there's our sample of the Kitabashi 9606. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this Mitsubishi High Uni art set that I like to use for comparing the grades of pencils. And uh, these are high quality Japanese pencils for drawing purposes. And we're going to start off here with, of course, with the HB pencil because, well, this is listed as an AB and HB though I really think it draws darker than an HB but we're gonna find out for sure okay so here we go I'm going to just do it over here to the side and we'll we'll be able to compare directly and as you can see I'm just gonna saturate it as much as I can get all the white of the paper out and I can tell that the HB is lighter and I'll zoom in here so that you can see for yourself the difference between those two that is slightly lighter than that I hope you can see that even though it has this uh, this glare but anyway I'm gonna go to the next pencil here and the next pencil will be the B so we'll use the B. Okay, there we go. And I will go off to the other side of this. Yep. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. All right. Okay, so you take a look at that and from what I can see, the, the B pencil is close, but the 2B looks closer, maybe a little bit slightly darker. It may fall somewhere between a B and a 2B pencil. So I'm going to just make sure I got this in here to see what's up because it wasn't so even. And so now it's it's real clear, okay? You can see it really clear that the B is not as dark as the HB that I just just drew here. There's the here's the B again. I'm going to I'm going to get in here and see if I can add more graphite. I'm trying to saturate this paper the best I can. Okay, now we have this with light shining through. And I think this is much more revealing than using the naked eye and having the glare of the light from the room and so forth. And we can see that the B seems to be much more in line with this pencil here, this HB. The 2B now clearly shows up to be slightly darker in tone than here. As you can see, that's slightly darker than here. The 3B is clear. We already know that that's much darker. We know that our uh, Kitabashi 9606 HB is darker than a standard uh, drawing pencil HB grade and so it seems to fall more in line with the B pencil so we will say that this has a rating similar to a B pencil in the drawing category so I think that that is pretty well conclusive that if anything it is right right in there with the B if not just just barely under but I think that that's about as close as a comparison is as we're going to get 
but it is definitely darker than your standard HB um, drawing pencil. And as far as writing pencils are concerned, it is stated that HB really is a HB and a half in reality, or a number two and a half, or whatever the case may be. That's what they say. You know, I guess they're going to stick with it. Okay, guys, well, in my opinion, I think that this Kitabashi 9606 is a must-have pencil if you like writing with pencils and you don't already have one, I would recommend a box. This is really an awesome pencil. I'm really excited to have finally uh, got a chance to write with it, got a chance to draw with it, and uh, I just think that it is so smooth and uh, so delightful to write with that it is definitely a keeper. And that being the case, of course, it goes into my collection to be there permanently and forever. Well, thanks again for watching. And uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Give me a like if you liked it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.